So in this video, we're going to talk about one of the more common questions that comes up early on, which is what is the difference between MySQL and SQL? Or I usually just say SQL, but what's the difference between these two? Obviously, SQL is contained in the name of MySQL. What's the significance of that? So let's start off with discussing SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language. So SQL is the language that we use when we talk to our databases. It's the way that we interact and access the data, update data, delete things, um, and basically manipulate the data in our databases. It's the language we use. So it's how we do things like find all users. Now what I'm showing you here is not actual SQL code. You'll see that in just a second. These are just humanized versions. Find all users who are 18 years old. Add a new user with username Jumbo Jim, or if we want to get crazy, delete every single user. So these are the sort of things that we use SQL to do. So we write these lines, which are called queries, structured query language. And once we hit enter, or once we run that SQL code, it's executed and it goes off and it talks to our database and it does it for us. So if you are curious of what it looks like, here's a really quick one line preview. The English version, find all users who are 18 or older, is translated into this. Select star from users where age is greater than or equal to 18, semicolon. So hopefully that actually seems pretty straightforward. Now, we are going to dive into SQL all throughout this course. Uh, you don't need to worry about this exact statement. What's important, though, is that you can see there is a special syntax we use and that this query here is going to be sent off to interact with the database somewhere. So the next point I want to make is that when we work with MySQL, we're actually writing SQL all the time. So MySQL is what we talked about earlier, a database management system, and there's a bunch of them out there. Here's some common ones, Postgres, SQLite, Oracle, there's hundreds of others. And there's dozens of popular ones, but hundreds of them all over the world that maybe aren't as popular. So all of these ones here that I've highlighted use SQL or SQL. That doesn't mean every database ever does but what are called relational databases do. And we'll talk more about that later when we discuss tables. But for now, the point I want to make is that SQL is not unique to MySQL or to Postgres. That's why they all have this SQL in their name. They share this language. So structured query language SQL is a standard, basically, that these relational database management systems like MySQL implement. So it's kind of a lot of jargon and terminology again, but the main takeaway is that when we use something like MySQL, we'll actually be writing SQL all the time. So here's an example of what a line of SQL code looks like to do the exact same thing in a MySQL database and a Postgres database. Here's the MySQL and here's the Postgres. And hopefully you notice they are identical. Both of these are different database management systems. They have differences to them, but they both use SQL. You will be writing SQL when you interact with these databases. So just to hit that home, there are slight differences in the syntax. They are not identical, but they're very, very similar. Oh, and I better not forget to mention the SQL standard. So the way that this whole thing works is that there is a standard for how SQL should work. It's, kind of, it's actually written down. You can read it online. And all of these different database management systems uh, basically are tasked with implementing that standard in their own database and making it work. And they deviate sometimes a little bit, but for the most part, they're very, very similar. So the two takeaways here. One is that once you learn SQL, it's really not that hard to switch to another database that also uses SQL. So you're learning MySQL, you could pretty easily switch to Postgres or to SQLite with not a lot of time needed to get up to speed. And the second thing is that what makes databases or database management systems to be specific, what makes them unique are the features that they offer, 
not the SQL or the language itself. So if we go back to this diagram, all of these use SQL, but that doesn't mean that they're identical. And yes, you might write the same line of code to do the same thing here. So what makes these different are the features that they implement. Things like how secure is one versus the other, or how, how fast is it? How, much, how big is the download? Um, how do user permissions work? And on and on and on. And we'll talk more about what those differences are when we get to a point where they actually make a little bit more sense. I don't want to just talk at you. Okay, so this was about MySQL versus SQL. SQL is structured query language. It exists separately from MySQL. And MySQL is a database management system that implements SQL.